Hi guys and welcome to our first video on the subject of archaeology. Uh, so from this video what I'd like you guys to learn or our learning outcomes from it. Um, number one, I'd like you guys to know what archaeology is. Number two, um, I want you guys to know what an archaeologist does. And our third learning outcome is I would want you guys to know what the key words artifact and excavate mean. So archaeology uh, gives us our key to learning about ancient civilizations from the past. So what is archaeology? Um, archaeology is it's the study of things that people left behind. Um, so from any civilization, from um, any time period, stuff that is left behind, we can use to get a better understanding of what life was like in that period. So why do we study archaeology? So we study archaeology to give us a better understanding of the past. There's so much that we don't know about the past and ancient civilizations and every new artifact or ruin we find can give us more information and in some cases it can even completely change what we thought about that civilization. So Archaeology is actually one of the four branches of a subject called anthropology. Okay, so anthropology is the study of human societies and cultures and how they developed. So it's basically we're talking about the story of humanity and how we came from being Homo sapiens to who we are today. So there are three other branches, obviously, as we said, archaeology is only one. So the other branches are biological anthropology. So that is basically looking at the biological makeup of the people who were around at the time. There's cultural anthropology, which tracks how cultures have changed from in society over time. And then there's linguistic anthropology. So linguistic anthropology kind of examines where speech patterns have come from, where language has come from and how language has shaped our world. Okay, so back to our topic of archaeology. Um, so the people who study archaeology, they are called archaeologists. Okay, so archaeologists, they study artifacts and ancient ruins to find out what life was like thousands of years ago. They also excavate sites. Okay, so with archaeologists there are many different types of archaeologists and they come in a variety of different um, fields so generally there's kind of eight time periods that are designated for um, archaeology and they'll go from the stone age right up to what they term as the islamic age which is from about the mid 600s up until the present day so let's have a look at some of the archaeologists you guys might come across. So first of all we have Egyptologists and the meaning for this is obviously in the name Egypt. Uh, so these people would specifically study Egypt, uh, ancient Egypt, okay? So they would be um, almost, I suppose, experts in everything to do with Egypt, okay? We also have Class, classical archaeologists. So this photo is taken from Greece. Um, so in our eight time periods, there's a specific one for the Hellenistic age, which is ancient Greece. Okay. We also have underwater archaeology. As you can see there, there's a man getting a boat that's sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Okay. So there's lots of stuff that has been washed away or has been submerged in the sea or stuff that has been lost to sea. Okay, I'm sure some of you guys may have heard of the myth of Atlantis. So that's something where they believe that there was this magical island, um, or mythical island, perhaps more accurately, that was that has now lost to us and is submerged in the sea. Um, we also have tomb raiders. Well, she's not an actual type of archaeologist, but we do have people who went into tombs and raided them and took a lot of really valuable information. 
that uh, is completely lost in history now. So, like we said, archaeologists mainly deal with artifacts. So, what is an artifact? So, an artifact is a man made object. So, it can range from a house to a coin to an arrowhead to just a little bit of stone that we find from the Stone Age that has been polished or that has been sharpened to, to, to enhance our ability to hunt or to improve our quality of life. It can be amazing decorative ornaments like this Egyptian ornament in the top left hand corner. It can be anything that is made by man. So where do we find artifacts? So we find them in many different places, but I suppose the place that's most famous and that we'd most associate with archaeologists is at an archaeology site or an excavation site. So here's a picture of what an archaeology or an excavation site might look like. As you can see there, there's lots of people um, excavating this site um, and using a variety of tools, which is something we will look at in a later video, the kind of tools that they use and the process for excavation. So what is excavation? So uh, at an archaeologist site, we excavate or we dig out artifacts from the ground. So what we do is we go into the ground and we dig out and we find our artifacts. And so archaeology is actually a very new science. And while people have always been discovering artifacts from previous generations, archaeology is a relatively new science. The first supervised excavation was at the ancient city of Herculaneum in 1738. That is less than 300 years ago. Um, so this was the first time that people would have used um, methods whereby they'd record what they found, where they found it. It was supervised. People weren't taken whatever they wanted. Okay, so here's a picture of Herculaneum, the beautiful Roman city that was founded. Um, so this was the first site. Um, up until this point, a lot of archaeology, it was not much more than looting and it damaged many historical sites for future generations. Um, a lot of people would have been artifact, collect artifact collectors, um, sort of went into these richly historical places and they would have taken whatever artifact they like and in it they would have removed it um, without care for any of the other artifacts and what information that could give us um, or people who went in and um, got the artifacts to sell them also uh, with little or no regard for what they were doing or other than trying to make money um, and even as we said it is a new science that developed in the 1730s but as it was developing, there was still a lot of looting and a lot of damage done. Um, as you can see in the picture here, these statues are actually from a phenomenal building in Greece, very famous, the Parthenon, which is in uh, the Acropolis in Athens. And these statues were in uh, part of this amazing building. And some of them had fallen off uh, due to an explosion that had happened in the 17th century. Um, so an English man, Lord Elgin, went to the Ottomans and he officially got permission to get these statues and he brought them back to England and now sit in a museum in England. Um, but there's great controversy over whether this was done properly. Artifacts been removed, would have been properly catalogued, would have um, due process been done and now they reside in England. So just to show that science, it, Modern archaeology is it's a very new science and even up to 200 years ago 150 years ago things were still being removed without due process So our learning outcomes and um, after watching this presentation you guys should know what archaeology is Secondly, you should know what an archaeologist does and Finally, you guys should know what the keywords artifact and excavate um, I look forward to working with you guys in class and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.